Business integration with Jira. Um, Harness can perform a number of operations with Jira as a stage or as steps in a stage. Um, for example, this is a uh, approval stage. All you would do is come down here and click approval when you added the stage. But you can also add all of these steps, Jira create, Jira approval, and Jira update um, within an approval stage or a CD stage, uh, deploy stage. They're available at all times. So let's look at each one. The Jira create stage is going to create a Jira issue for you. Use a connector. So it's the connector I already set up. And it just connects to my Jira account using my username and a token. And then we have the Jira project. It'll list all the projects that are available in this account. And then the issue type that you want to create. And down here you can add extra fields, values for extra fields. And there's field support for all the different fields available in that project. And then there's Jira approval. So Jira approval will evaluate a issue, its status, and depending on that, it will either approve or reject the stage or the pipeline at that point. So what you do, you use the same thing, you Jira connector, and then you pick a project, and you pick an issue type. And here we have issue key. You can manually type in the issue key, or you can do what I've done here and use an expression. And this expression actually references the issue key created by the Jira create step. Um, let me get out of here and go to one that's already finished. This is one I've already created. And here is the already executed the pipeline. Here is the Jira create step. And in the output settings, you have your details, input, and output. In the output settings down here, you have a key field. And that gives you the key that was created by this step. So in your approval state, uh, step, that's what you can reference here. You simply copy what I showed you there in output, and you paste it in here, and there's a reference right to it. There's the Jira create step, issue.key. So this is going to look at that key that I create with the first step, and then it's going to evaluate using this approval criteria. So I'm going to say if the status equals under review, then it's approved. You can also add rejection criteria as well, and you can add Jexel expressions as well, like issue.status equals done. Issue here refers to whatever issue is up here in issue key, and status is a field. Um, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to get rid of that guy. That's just a placeholder. And apply that. Okay, and then the third one we have here is Jira update. Once again, you do a Jira connector to connect to your account, and then you enter in the issue key. Um, and I'm using that same reference I used in Jira approval to refer to the key created by Jira create. Uh, and you can add, you can change the status, you can update it with the status to done. You can use transition names if you have workflows. And then you have Jira fields you can uh, update as well, such as comment, testing this. So here's what I ran already. I'll run this, um, and as it goes, I'll show you what I already ran, because it can take a few minutes with Jira. I'll just skip the pre-flight and run it. Off it goes. Okay, well that's running, I'll show you this one. Again, the first step, it created a new, um, issue and it was uh, doc1221 here and then you can see um, in Jira approval here at the next step it looks at doc1221 and if you click that it will open it here in Jira Boom. like that and then it'll evaluate its uh, status and once it's under review it'll say approved I didn't put any rejection criteria in this one but um, it can take a minute or so. We poll Jira about every minute to see. And, uh, and so it can take a little bit of time. And then you have an output here as well, and inputs as well uh, for the Jira approval. Well, I guess the output is really that it's approved. Um, and then in, um, this one was actually quick, seven seconds. Uh, and then we have the Jira update. Again, we have that same issue key number here, 1221. And then it is updated with the new comment we wanted. And we can see all of the fields as they are in the ticket at the end here. So let's go back, see how far we have with the other one that's running. Oh, we're at the approval stage. So I have got to go to this ticket. This is a new one here. And change its status to under review. OK, right now it's to do. And you can see it has the message I put there and everything. And I'll change it to under review. OK. Um, it can take a few minutes, or a minute or so, to do it, sometimes two minutes. Um, and so it's going to be, it's waiting at this point, and after a little bit of time, it'll ping it and we'll see it move to the next stage. 
But as you can see, it did reference the exact same one that is created here. Oh, it shows orange only because it's wavy. The same one that was created as an output here, referenced using that key. Um, I won't continue here. I've showed you everything there is to show. But it's a very simple setup, and you can use these at any point in your stage. And as a stage itself in a, oh, it did approve there. <laughs> as a stage itself in, in a pipeline. And you can just use each one of these individually. You can have a, an approval stage that simply uses the JIRA approval step. And the JIRA create could be in a previous stage. You just have to reference it, the ID correctly, the key correctly. OK, so it approved it. And here it is, updating it. And what did we update it with? Testing update step. So if I go back to it here. Oh, and we also changed the status, I believe. Uh, let's see. Issue status to done. So let's go back here. If I reload it, done. And added the comment testing update step. And that's it.